Cayman 27 has learned the Cayman Isles National Squash Association national coach Mark Challoner resigned after six years on the job. Now we caught up with Challoner earlier today to talk about the decision and find out what is the plan for squash development in the Cayman Islands in his absence. As Brown University men's squash team hits the court at the South Sound Squash Club, Mark Challoner looks back on six years of youth development after stepping down as national coach just a few weeks ago. Um, I mean, I, I really enjoyed working with all of the kids, I mean, uh, especially uh, the, national, the national teams. The, um, uh, there's various really good good players come through such a small place. And much like many of K-Man's national athletes and coaches, life took precedent over Chowner's responsibilities for a sport and a program he loved. We actually had our third child, which um, obviously adds uh, a lot of uh, uh, di a different dynamic to, to uh, home life, family life. So part of my thinking was that um, because I have quite a flexible job, working life, actually quite like to be home for after school and like meal times, things like that. But who will step up in his absence? Four-time national champion Cameron Stafford says he's putting aside his pro career to pitch in. You know, at the end of the day, the, the program must go on. You know, I'm one of these people that want to be very passionate towards the juniors, and you know, I'm one of the most <clears throat> active coaches in the Cayman Islands as it stands. Um, I've been, you know, getting on court with juniors every day every day, seven days a week. And you know, I've just been helping them try to get their, their game to the next level. So I've been working around the clock with that. And while the Cayman Isles National Squash Association decides on who to hire next, Stafford says he wants to lead the junior program alongside doubles partner and new squash manager, Marlene West. You know, um, I feel that, you know, Mars and I <clears throat> can be one of the people to, to, to run it. So, um, you know, I, 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 you know, I understand what Sin, Sinza want to do, um, but, you know, we'll see what, see what happens with, with that. For now, Challoner says he's sticking around to coach part-time. But he says if anybody can fill the void, it's K-Man's dynamic duo. It's brilliant that Marlene has taken the role at the club. She's also uh, more than capable of, of anything that goes on here, running, running events. Uh, anything that Cameron can do regarding squash, because that's his biggest skill, uh, is going to be really good for him. And he's, he's a local, local kid, grown up here, um, put a lot of time and effort into squash. And I, I can see him, you know, uh, growing in the, in the role of, uh, of helping, especially youth, youth players here uh, in the near future. All right, now we reached out to Sensa for comment on the future hiring of the next national squash coach and the progress of the youth program. We did not hear back by broadcast.